We're reading Race and Palestine, Shireen H. Razak, published in the journal Feminist Studies, volume 49, numbers 2 to 3, from 2023. What does race have to do with the genocidal actions currently happening right now in Gaza? There's an obvious answer to this question. The Zionist project to form the nation of Israel on Palestinian land has a simple, powerful premise. God gave the land to the Jews, who have been on it for millennia, the latter being an important word designed to emphasize the timelessness of a Jewish claim to the land. To make this claim and to embrace its logic, Palestinians must be understood as fiction. For Golda Meir, the fourth Prime Minister of Israel, as she told the New York Times in 1976, there is no Palestinian people, there are Palestinian refugees. Echoing the spirit of the 19th century Zionist phrase, a land without a people for a people without a land. Mir explained to the Times that when she came to Palestine in 1921, Palestine was a barren, sparsely inhabited Turkish province, in which we the Jewish pioneers were the avowed Palestinians, reduced to a population of a few shepherds and Bedouins, people who are considered to have never made it into modern life. Palestinians are consigned to the pre-modern even as Jews are installed as both the land's ancient original inhabitants and its modern citizens. We dispossess no Arabs, Mir stated emphatically. Instead, our toil in the deserts and marshes of Palestine created more habitable living space for both Arab and Jew. Disappearing Palestinians in this way requires hard material and psychic work. Real-life Palestinians have to be disposed of, as is happening now. In order for acts of dispossession to continue, without a racial hierarchy of humans and subhumans, one cannot physically or legally perform the alchemical trick of disappearing Palestinians. Race-based thinking transforms the eliminationist basis of the Zionist state, a land for Jews only, into something reasonable. We might call this type of reason, black reason, Achille Mbembe's term for reason that rests on race. We must ask, as does the legal scholar Colin Dyan, what kind of reason defies logic? Her answer, that which is the basis of a colonial and slash or slave owning state. Reason that transforms dispossession into a lawful act. The principal feature of a state that announces itself as lawful and reasonable, even when it is based quite clearly on an apartheid structure, and when it insists that there is no such thing as a Palestinian people whose homes and orchards the Israeli state has now taken over, is that nothing has to make sense. We cannot find logic in Zionist slash Israeli mythology. We only find black reason and the racial phantoms on which it depends. A few shepherds on a hillside, Islamic terrorists, children who are not children but threats, mothers who send their sons off to become suicide bombers, and hospitals that are not places for the sick but terrorist nests that must be bombed to smithereens. And that was Race in Palestine by Shireen H. Razak, published in the journal Feminist Studies, volume 49, numbers 2-3 to from 2023.